How long is it going to take me to find on this website a story about... There it is. There it is. A story about climate change. And what's this up here? Oh, look! A hamburger menu. And fourth one down, environment. That's way higher up than uh, most websites. And as you can see, we are still feeling the impacts of climate change. If you happen to be a human being who lives on Earth, none of this is good news. None of this is worth defending. None of this is worth making existential bets over. Nothing about climate change at all. It is not a place of honor. No good deed has been accomplished with climate change. It is just plain bad. But this is Minnesota Public Radio News, so of course, its environment section isn't just going to be about climate change. There are plenty of stories about wildlife and research about an environment that is very much worth defending because it's Minnesota. And it is infuriating to see the Boundary Waters Canoe area being called out by name in Project 2025. And the thing is, this is a La Nina year, so that's good. Generally, those are generally good for Minnesota. If you look at our forecast, uh, we tend to be on the cooler side in those years. Last summer was just a scorcher, though. But now it's flipped. It's La Nina, so California gets to suffer and Texas gets to suffer less. All suffering, by the way, is bad when it is unjust. And when it comes to climate change, all suffering from climate change is unjust. There is nothing good about climate change. It is not a thing of honor. No good deed has been accomplished with climate change. And yes... The title of this video. I meant it. I completely meant it. I'm not crazy. I meant what I said. Allow me to show you. Yes, we are more sure, scientists are more sure, that humans are causing climate change, that they are the biggest and worst cause, and that it is all bad. We are more sure about how climate change works, how the greenhouse effect works, then we are with gravity. Seriously, though, look here over in Musum. This is the weather. That's actually a really hot temperature. Trust me, bro. Okay, uh, zero's freezing, 10 is not, 20's, uh, 20 is warm, and 30 is hot. It is hot in Minnesota right now, and yeah, it is summer, but this is still above average for late July, heading into the fall. 31 degrees. Climate change is real. By the way, this is the weekly forecast. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's all going to be uncomfortably hot. Heading into August. And I don't really like that. But yeah, the title is not clickbait. It's not something I decided. This isn't one of those videos where I'm like grabbing the dictionary and massaging the definitions of the words until it fits my needs. No, seriously. We are more sure, scientists are more sure that humans are harming the planet and its climate way more than we should and that this is a pretty easy problem to solve if everyone, especially people in power, were brave enough to do that. I mean, 
you've heard the phrase before, right? A law, a scientific law. A lot of people wrongly believe that is just a solid, unquestionable thing. And it kind of is, but it also isn't. Like, a law in science is... When controlled observations, think, you think the scientific method, you know, question, hypothesis, research, experiment, collect data, make conclusion. That's when that is done so many times. In so many ways, in so many different locations, there have been enough observations to Squeeze all of that down. And they can, for our purposes here on Earth, are done so many times in so many locations that it can be summarized as a mathematical constant. One of those is E equals MC squared. That is not the theory of relativity. A lot of people think it is because of cartoons, but that is actually the mass to energy conversion formula. Energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. That is a law. That is the law, the thermodynamic law, of how much energy is in a piece of matter, and that M can have a lot of variables in it. But you know what else can be boiled down to a scientific constant? That uh, you can just punch into a calculator and get the result you need, just measure in an equation something times something is this or will lead to this the greenhouse effect? This right here, greenhouse gases. We know we have done the research on Earth enough times to know that the greenhouse effect is a law. It is a scientific law. Law of temperature and gases or something like that. We know what carbon dioxide does when it is in Earth's atmosphere. We know what methane does when that is in the atmosphere. What uh, refrigerants do when they leak out of an air conditioner or a refrigerator. It is the exact opposite of what that device is intended to do, and it is now going to have to work a lot harder because something leaked out of it. Thanks a lot, uh, Obama, for signing and ratifying and having an enforceable mechanism for the leaking of refrigerants. Um, in less than two years, we're going to be having a completely different line of refrigerators come out, and they will be marketed as more efficient, and in some of them will be, but eventually we are going to approach magnetic refrigeration, which requires no coolant, but we're not there yet. We're not there yet. But the greenhouse effect is a scientific law. It is a law. A constant, something you can calculate with just a basic 10 key calculator. At this point, we're at the point where we can say this much carbon dioxide, this much methane, this much of this refrigerant will have this much of an impact on the climate in fractions of a degree Celsius. There is also the universal law of gravitation.
universal law of gravitation. What does that say? Well, that is the force of two objects, right? Well, that's actually the theory. Uh, the universal law of gravitation is that uh, if you drop something, it fall down, and uh, it fall down at it it fall down at approximately and for all practical Earth purposes, this is the number. Squiggly, 9.8 meters per second per second. Or if you want to be a wise guy, smart ass nerd, squiggly. 9.8 ms squared. Same thing. 9.8 meters per second per second. All objects with uh, with little to no air resistance. So a feather, a piece of paper, it's going to do something different because air is pushing back up. But otherwise, that is the number people use. And if it's rocket science, it's literal rocket science, the law of gravity. But did you know that gravity is also a theory? Like, the gravitational por uh, force between this and this is a theory. We're still actively studying this and the force between these two things and me and the Earth. The theory of gravity is how that works. How does gravity work? We don't know. We thought we had it. But then Einstein had to... He had to invent quantum physics. And there's some problems here, okay? Let me go onto our favorite website, YouTube. Let's do a little searching here. Let's do a little researching so I can cover my ass from the H bomber guy so that I do not get H bombed and be accused of plagiarism. But uh yeah, quant uh, uh let's start here. String theory problem. Do you know what these guys are talking about? They're talking about quantum field theory, string theory. There's a bit of a problem here. String theory, quantum gravity. Gravity is a theory. It's not something we fully, comp we fully understand. But there is a constant from which you can calculate the amount of time something will fall into onto the ground and make splat and it doesn't matter if you're looking down or not this is the real world it is not a cartoon uh in the same vein we have theories about why sun and heat trapping gases interact in this way and that's more straightforward the shape of the molecules, the density of the air that leaks is weighing that solar energy back onto Earth. That is the greenhouse effect. We know more about the greenhouse effect and its impact on Earth and other planets than we do about gravity. And because of that, scientists, and science as a whole, understands the human impact of climate change more than gravity right now. That is all 
Fact. That is all 100% fact. Here. Here, let's take a look. Let's take a look. What is the greenhouse effect? Earth is a comfortable place for living things. It's just the right temperature for plants and animals, it including to humans, to thrive. Why is Earth so special? Well, one reason is the greenhouse effect. A greenhouse is a building with glass walls and a glass roof. The clear glass allows sunlight to shine into the greenhouse while also trapping the sun's heat inside. This is how a greenhouse keeps plants warm even at night and in the winter. The greenhouse effect keeps Earth warm in pretty much the same way. Yep. Earth isn't surrounded by glass, but it is surrounded by a jacket of gases called the atmosphere. So we can manipulate this in with the, the color daytime, too. The a sun shines through the atmosphere, warming radiant Earth's energy surface. takes more time to get After out of that. After the sun goes and there are down, Earth's surface cools. That this are more releases heat than back others. into the air, but some of that heat is trapped by the gases in the atmosphere. These heat-trapping gases are called greenhouse gases. Carbon dioxide, water vapor, and methane are all examples of greenhouse gases. They don't gases. mention refrigerants, but that Earth too. Earth needs a balance of greenhouse gases to maintain just the right temperature for living things. But some human activities are changing Earth's natural greenhouse effect. For example, burning fossil fuels like coal and oil releases more carbon dioxide into our atmosphere. These extra greenhouse gases can cause the atmosphere to trap more and more heat, leading to a warmer Earth. NASA satellites are constantly measuring the gases in our atmosphere from space. They've observed increases in the amounts of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. The information from NASA satellites can help scientists figure out where greenhouse gases are coming from and how they are ending up in our atmosphere. This information will help us better understand the impact that greenhouse gases have on our climate and help us better understand this very special greenhouse that we call home. Find out more about our Earth at NASA Climate Kids. Yeah, there you go. There it is.